Hey guys over at RC Boost. This is um twin twin engine filmy and uh I just had the forum post and I don't have any pictures on it so I'm going to make a video to show you around. So um a 60 inch wingspan. That's I think that's in the post. It ha it's um has an 11 inch cord including the flapper on which is massive and probably over needed or overdone but it's um the wings my design it's not an it's um not the arm and wing but i have a balsa a balsa block a balsa wood thing from michaels and i had i bought two of them i hot glued them together on top of each other and it made a quick easy spar so that's also in my wing build video that i've already done um I, the landing wheels are really good. I designed this myself too. It's um these these black things are are uh, yo-yos or wheel yo-yos from the Dollar Tree, and I got like twenty or ten of them for a dollar, which is awesome. And I zip tied it all to a piece of coroplast from a sign for our town's referendum and the barbecue skewer is zip tied on to the zip tie and shaved down so that the wheel can spin really freely and I think it's like perfect. The um the main wheels consist of uh, two extra two millimeter wire, piano wire or music wire and it's zip tied at the back and rubber banded at the front so it has the bungee. Um, I'm not going to use this part of the bomb dropper because I want to have towing and I'm going to probably put like a little missile or little things on, little servos on the, these nacelles and use those as bomb droppers. So these nacelles will be mounted on, mounted on this side on the wing, but I, I don't have any of my motors and I want to get that on first. Like that, and I'll have it. I'll have a barbecue skewer at the top. I didn't use these retracts as like landing gear and these net wheels because I didn't have them when I made this, and I think they're just a bit unnecessary. Uh, tiny elevator, which I'll need extreme throw on, and a giant rudder, which I'll have like like maybe not even ten degrees since I'll have differential thrust. Because, and that will do really well. I'm going to use 110 kV motors with 6x10 props, which will be, and those motors will be the, and what's the 30, what's the built in 30 amp ESC, which are the donkey motors from Hobby King. I have yet to ever get them and, or order them because I want your, I want to see other people's opinions to, before I do anything. And um, it's a one-piece top construction made out of, and the entire thing is made out of four sheets of Adam's ready board, not Deperon, since that's way too expensive and it's not in the U.S. But it is FPV ready. This can fit the GoPro um, really nicely in there. But I would suggest moving the lens hole over so you have space for your um, your wires and such. Let's just open this up. This is held on with a barbecue skewer. Or you can also melt it, mount it on the wing there, like I have that. So I took my barbecue skewer out. You just flip that open and you can reach down in there and get your electronics and stuff and make like a bomb dropper there or put your batteries. Uh, build a little shelf for your camera, so you could probably just put in a Mobius if you wanted, if that's what you have, or a board camera. I reinforced it with some credit card with a little hole in it. And yeah, um, I epically failed when I was building this since I cut I cut that bit of paper off, which basically ruined it. So I put these popsicle sticks there to um, help. It's really tail heavy, but it has no electronics in it, so I'll see when they have motors and such. 
All right, and barbecue screws there for reinforcement. Same on the other side. And I made a hot glue hinge. And yeah, I think that's about it. Showed the overly massive thing. Um, wing tips for fun. I under here is a block of of plywood. Um, I think three eighths of inch thick from Michaels. And it's under there as a plate for that. And then I have it duct taped over, and it ends there. Oh, uh, and you want you probably have you have to do the duct tape because of these skewers. They're so. I just cut the ridge in the belly, and that was where I put them. I just hot glued them in and taped them over, and it's done awesome, just like gliding. Um, it's about it's going to be about. A little under two pounds, um, probably about probably twenty ounces when it's all all done done. <laughs> Whatever that is in grams, and zip ties are awesome. I suggest you get a lot of them, like a lot. And this is taped in there for the hinge. But it, it is a bit temperamental to close it in because it's like t they're tiny tolerances. Because I cut the um, I cut the credit card holes so tiny. Yeah. Um, the two-piece wing holds really well. Like I could hold it from from the end here, even though it's a half far. It ends. The spar ends about there, and ends about there. So, yeah, there is a bit that isn't sparred, but that's fine, because I can still do this. Like, I'm lifting it up from the end here. <laughs> yeah, and there's barely any bend in it, so, awesome. I suggest that you start the the balsa spar idea because that's just it's just so easy and so quick and just rubber banded on the wing have every it's all it fits nicely together I didn't do any CAD because I don't know how and I do know how but I don't like I'm not good at it and yeah so thanks for watching if you liked, co comment below. Thanks for watching.